Hey guys, Duff Daddy here with AoE TV and AoE Gaming. Uh, I've got another exciting topic to talk to you guys about with the Awakening Beta. Uh, with the Lockstep patch drop, they also implemented the new uh, quest reward system. Now, for new players, they wanted to make a more streamlined questing process with your gems and how they flow together and uh, work together. So, your gem rewards seem to be lacking a little bit. One of the things they did to counteract that is they now added a second tab to all of your uh, all of your people in town, your NPCs in town like Nessa and Yina that sell wands and flasks normally. They now have a second tab that becomes available once you start getting quest rewards for, or gem rewards from your quests. And they now make every gem reward available from those quests. So this, for example, is Mud Flats. This one is... Uh, I'm not sure exactly which one this is. I think that might be Mervil's or Brutus. Uh, Brutus, I believe. And then this one is the Mervil quest reward, for example. So all these gems now become available. And you can see each of these costs a transmutation. These ones cost a transmutation as well. These ones cost a scroll of wisdom. So different... It, it allows you a lot more flexibility, a lot more customizability. The coolest thing that I've seen so far is act two just to show you guys real quick you can see here you now can get all the heralds for an orb of alteration how awesome is that you can be running all the heralds if i mean if you want to or herald of ash or by itself or herald of thunder herald of ice in conjunction together you can be running those all and they do scale uh, the, the leveling here scales with your level as well, too. So you can see a certain amount of experience is added based on my current level. Uh, so this one's about to turn to level 3, uh, and I imagine it probably will once I level up to level 25. Uh, so it does scale differently with your level, which is very cool uh, in terms of buying the gems. And from what I've seen and what I've heard, the cost of them doesn't change. They stay in Orb of Alteration the entire time. So... These ones are Orbs of Alteration. We've got Transmutes and Scrolls of Wisdom in Act 1. I haven't seen all of the other ones yet, but I will add those to the video uh, as they come along. The Act 3 ones, I'm assuming, are going to be Augmentations, uh, as well as, you know, start getting up there in the higher level gems as well, too. Uh, all the way up to Chaos. But to be able to have access to all these different gems now, and have the different customizability and flexibility to do whatever you want with your character this early on. Fantastic. Very exciting. Very cool stuff, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions on it, please tweet us your comments at AOETV. And you guys have a good one.